So now we've got notes here. I want them to show up here when I click them. Who made that work? Who made clicking the note in the, in the list show up? Everybody who did it? Three? I thought there were more. I thought there was at least more than that. Kind of? Is that what that means? Okay. Cool. So where do I start? Where do I start? Okay, from main, we're calling note list, right? Essentially, by including that JS, JSX in there. Yep. In main, there is a main is a class itself, which has uh, it's a component which has a function which handles the callback, and you give that callback to the note list. Okay. And whenever there's an event, it calls that callback. So we with the data, say the note, and that comes to the main. Okay. So so where do I put my notes? Where do I put my array? Long term, we're probably going to have to move it. Uh, you sure you left it there? Yeah. So you left it in note list, and you still got the notes into note form. Uh, the one that gets clicked gets sent. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's different. Okay, that that totally works. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any reason we can't do it that way. Yeah. Good point. I'm not sure there's any reason we can't do it that way. It'll be different from how we did it in the morning slightly. Um, so what he was saying, in essence, is clicking on one of these is going to run some function, right? And that function ultimately needs to change the form. But note form isn't inside note list, so I can't just like pass a prop to note form straight from note list, right? I basically have to go up through main first. So that function that I call when I click needs to be a method on the main component that can then trigger sending something down to note form. So what he was saying is if we track which note was clicked, basically what the currently active note is on main, then we can update that when we click in note list and we can pass it as a prop down to note form. Is that what you're saying? Cool. Anybody do anything differently? Anybody put the array somewhere else? Yeah, where'd you put the array? Uh, in put the array in main yeah. and state? Yeah. Okay. That's how we usually do it, um, but, but he's right. We wouldn't actually have to do that um, because the only one we actually care about down in the form is... Um, is the one that's active. Um, trying to, I'm seriously trying to think if there are going to be complications down the road if we don't go ahead and put that up in main. But main definitely has to keep track of uh, which one was clicked on. So we could start there. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move the list up to main, the list of all the notes. So put it in state up there. We would not have to do that at this point, but I'm worried about where that's going to get us later. I think it's going to be to our advantage to have it up in main. So basically, main needs to have state now. Main needs to have state either way, because we have to keep track of which one we clicked. So main is going to have to be a real class. So class main, get rid of the arrow function. And this return value is now the return value for the render method specifically, not the whole thing now that we're no longer a function. Don't forget, we need to inherit from component. So extends React component. Or we could actually import component from React like that and just say extends component. Either way, same thing. And we need some state. We learned last time we could just say state equals here, or we could use a constructor. We'll use a constructor this time just to see it both ways. 
constructor. So if I call the constructor, I need to be sure I call super because the constructor in component does a bunch of stuff. So if I override the constructor, I need to make darn sure I still do those things. Then I'll set this.state equal to some object. The object is going to have a property called notes, which is going to contain the array. So I can just copy the array I already had. Here it is. So it's an array with these three notes in it. Just to make the code a little more succinct, I could go down to two. It's just a hard-coded example anyway. So if that's there, how do I get those notes down into note list? Using props, right? So I could say note list notes equals this dot state dot notes this time, right? This dot state dot notes. And then down in note list, my props will arrive as an argument. So, so I can still call this notes. I could say const notes equals props dot notes, or I could just change that to prop, props dot notes down there, whatever, whichever way you want to do it. And if all is well, nothing changed, except now I have two notes instead of three. All right, so it still worked. So now we just raised the state up to the higher component so that we can pass data from it back down to both note list and note form. That's worth an intermediary commit, I think. So store notes in mains state. 